Left here today, I'm going to show you how to get the best outcome of Twixer possible in Sony Vegas. I don't get why so many people struggle on doing this, but today I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, make sure your properties are 59.94 FPS because it's really important. Make sure it's not 29.97, make sure it's 59.94. It's really important that the clip that you have is also 59.94 and you can check that by going to uh, your clip and you can check right here to see how much uh, frames per second it has and it has 59.94 and next thing you want to do is right click and go to switches and click the same very sample um, that disables ghosting. You have to do that for every video that you do. You can another way to do this is by right clicking, go to properties, and disable your sample. Now, if you have multiple clips, you can also use this tool. And for example, if I have like three clips, you could just drag over them and then right click and then do the same thing. But this isn't about disable resample. This is about Twixter. So now you what you want to do is go to your preview screen. And if your computer is really slow, what you want to do is change the preview to draft quarter. This is the lowest, absolute lowest setting that you can put, which means less lag in Sony Vegas. And you can see that I'm still lagging even though I have the lowest uh, settings. You know, my computer is really crappy. Okay. So, let's say I want to twixture after he does a shot. Okay, so I'm going to press S to split. And I'm just going to split this clip apart and delete it. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to split about one through three frames. So you want to zoom in using your scroll button if you're using mouse. And then you want to use your keyboard to go key, f uh, keyframe by keyframe, which makes it a lot more easier. Let me show you. See, it goes keyframe by keyframe. And what you want to do is go one through three keyframes because we want to make sure the Twixer is really slow and smooth. So I'm going to go about three keyframes and click S to split. And I'm just going to delete the audio because it's in the way. And then you, you just want to zoom out and drag it about I don't know how many seconds depending on how long you want your Twixer to be this seems like a good amount and then now you want to drag this and don't worry everything will be fixed soon you want to go and add Twixter Pro and I updated my settings I changed a little bit of it um it doesn't really make much of a difference my old settings are still pretty good and you can see that it's Twixter now and I'm gonna show you my new settings Okay, so Twixer output all, and make sure this is checked. Speed, and then for for speed, I'm going to talk about that later. Don't put it to 0 0.8 yet. And best, and 94.74, that's just a random number. You can put 100, or as long as it's 90 through 100, it's fine. And click none, check that in. Ocean weighted blend forward, and cut A. So now what you want to do is go check your speed and make sure it's um at least below 3%. That's where a lot of people mess up. They put like 4% through, I don't know, like 10%. And that just doesn't make it smooth. It makes it really warpy and makes it like look disgusting like f like jello or something. So, what you want to do is put it 0 0.1 through 0 0.9 or 1% if you prefer. But I'm going to put 0 0.2 to show you how smooth it is, how smooth it becomes, and now let me show you another way to preview without lag, because a lot of people lag when they're trying to play Twixter clips. You want to highlight over it, and press Shift and B at the same time, same time, and then it should be um, ground previewing, which means like it'll go over it one time, so you can preview it without any lag once you play over it. So. Okay, so now let's press play, and you can see how smooth that Twixer is. It's, like, absolutely smooth. Like, it's, like, jizz-tastic, you know. Um, 
what did I just say? But anyway, it's f uh, just fantastic. It's fantastic, and the Twixer is really good. And then, as you can see, it transitions to not going in slow motion. So that's my secret to getting a uh, really smooth Twixter in Sony Vegas and how to preview Twixter without lag. See, it's really good. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. And um, request tutorials down below because I could do tutorials all night. Well, I'm going to sleep in like two hours, but... I'll post up more tutorials soon as soon as you guys request them and thanks for watching.